get out the door and you're going to need that umbrella today. Absolutely. You'll need it this morning. May not need it this afternoon, though, okay. but we will be dodging those raindrops as we kick off our Tuesday. Here's a look at your day part. What we're looking here as we plan out your day, something you may notice. Yes, there's going to be some rain early, overcast sky later in the day, but temperatures surprisingly going to be warmer right now than they will be later this afternoon. Although we're not going to see a huge fall in temperatures, we will just note that temperatures not near as warm by a few degrees as they are as we kick off the day. So just plan accordingly for that too. You may want to grab an extra jacket as you are heading to work. Maybe a rain jacket this morning, but you may need the coat as you're heading home. Here's what I'm tracking today. Some morning rain. If you're not seeing the wet weather, you're likely seeing a bit of fog and then drying out. Notice I didn't put clearing out because I don't think the sky will clear, but I think the rain will move out. But then it turns much colder overnight tonight with temperatures in many spots falling back into the upper 30s. Here's a look at your storm track radar. This rain is pulling off to the north and to the east as we look at this map around. Birmingham. We're looking at some pockets of rain. Now the rain towards the Galleria. I'm tracking this off to the north and to the east. It should be at Lake Purdy here within the next five to six minutes. So we're looking at that very closely. We're also tracking rain that's moving out of Adamsville right now, and that's tracking off to the north and to the east. That should be at Black Creek in about eight minutes, Newcastle in about 10 minutes. So the, again, we're, we're watching the rainfall as it's moving out of Moody, and that's going to be heading off to the north and to the east as well. But it looks like things have cleared out of Alabaster now along I 6 even back towards Woodstock and the Mercedes plant in East Alabama from Lionville to Folsom had some very heavy rain this morning. That's beginning to clear out. But notice Talladega, Pell City, Childersburg, Sylacauga, all seeing some light rain, especially if you have travel plans along Highway 280. Please be careful. Exercise extreme caution. Not only slippery roadways, but the ponding on the roadways. We could see some big puddles too, and that can often make those tires slip and slide. So be careful. Temperatures this morning, mid to upper 50s, low 60s, but keep in mind, temperatures are really going to hug this digit all day long. So 58 in Talladega, pair of fives there in Gadsden, 59 in Johns, 58 in Jasper. As we roll through the afternoon, you'll notice the rain clears out, but like I mentioned, the clouds hang tough. And then some slight clearing overnight tonight where those temperatures will be dropping into the 40s by 8 p.m. And it turns breezy too. And then those temperatures by tomorrow morning, upper 30s for some locations like Jasper at 39, Aniana at 38, Birmingham will see 41 tomorrow morning. We should see a good amount of sunshine for our Wednesday, but then by Wednesday evening, cloud cover returns. You'll notice here, and then we could see another chance of rain early Thursday morning. That should wash out of here by Friday, but it brings us a big blast of cold air. 40 for our high on Friday with low 20s both Friday and Saturday morning. And that's a look at your storm track, seven day forecast. Now here's a check on the roadways with.